Hi everybody, Creative Katie Karen Virtual here. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a how-to video. One of my favorite mixed media art journal tools is the Fine Line Applicator and today I'm going to show you how to clean it and how to fill it. So this, the paint that's in here has been in here for a year plus, but it is starting to get the paint is starting to clump inside and clog the nozzle, so it's time. So I'm gonna take off this blue piece, which is just a sheath, no paint is really in there, and this yellow piece. You just twist it off, just like you saw me doing, and that's where the clog is. The clog is also in this white nozzle that is still on the bottle. Now I'm gonna take my Murphy's Oil Soap mixture. This is Murphy's Oil Soap, water, and dish, dish, dish detergent and it does a wonderful job cleaning stencils, brushes, and it's going to help break down that acrylic paint in there and help us clean the clog that is in the, the nozzle and in the cap. And you can see the paint is there, lots and lots of it. So I'm going to dump out the excess paint that's in that bottle and I'm going to soak the cap and the needle with the Murphy's Oil soap. Now, you can just leave it and let it soak for a long time, but if you're impatient like me, you can give it a hand by grabbing a bristle brush, this is a stencil brush, and getting in there and working the paint clumps out of the nozzle. But again, you can just let it soak and it will break it down and become a whole lot easier to doing it. But, you know, I'm impatient. So I'm going to work it. Now I'm taking that Murphy's mixture and just putting it in the, in the bottle and I'm going to push it through the nozzle here. I'm just trying to get at the clumps that I can't reach with the stencil brush. And you can see it's still clogged, so I'm needing to scrub it a little bit more. Let it sit, it does, it breaks down those the acrylic paint over time. I did use the, the wire that's in the cap to pick out some of the excess paint clumps that were in there, and now you can see that the nozzle, the liquid is coming, flowing right through very quickly. I'm just going to push push another batch of this Murphy's Oil Soap through the nozzle just to make sure that it's all cleaned. Then I'm going to take it to the sink and give it a rinse with clear water. Make sure you put the plug in the sink so the needle doesn't go down the drain. So now we have everything is perfectly clean and we are ready to fill this with paint. Now I'm using Liquitex Basics Black Acrylic paint. This is Mars Black. I have used craft paint and the craft paint that I used clumped a lot faster and required me to change it more frequently. So I don't recommend doing that. Liquitex Basic is a student grade paint. If you went to a higher end paint, it probably would last longer. Like I said earlier, the paint has been in this bottle for over a year before I started having any real problems with it. Now, I don't recommend filling this right up. You do not need the entire bottle of paint because it will clump over time. And even though I use it a lot, you use very little. And you can see exactly how much paint, a couple squirts out of the tube, and then I'm adding water. That's all that's in this bottle is just plain, tap water, not distilled, anything fancy. You could use distilled if you want. And then I'm going to really shake this up well. You want the water and the paint to work. I have tried using uh, Artist Loft paint and I found that that clumped too much. So you can see the needle, then you just snap that back on and it holds firmly in place, you kind of screw it on and snap it. Works really, really simple, no pressure needed. And then I'm just going to test. Now this almost is coming out 
before I even put any pressure on the bottle. So I'm thinking to myself, I need to add more paint. And this is trial and error. You just want to try it and see. But you should, it, if you tip it upside down, it the paint should not come out without having to put a little bit of pressure. But you should not be hurting your hand by pressing so hard. So there I'm adding another glob of it. And I'm sorry for the measurements, but depending on the brand you use, that's going to change. And you can see that's spread out a little bit. You also want the lines that you make or with the fine line applicator to stay somewhat dimensional, not flatten out immediately. I'm testing it out again. Now, what I'm doing on is just copy paper. Usually you would be putting that on top of acrylic paint and a, it would be a very non-porous situation. And you can see the first one, how it's spread out. It's still a little bit liquidy. You could see that when I tilted it down, it started to come out. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. Don't fill the bottle right up. You don't need to mix the whole bottle. You will not use it. Add paint little by little. I don't use anything but tap water, and I'm using Liquitex Basics paint. I do not recommend craft paint. Now I'm shaking this up. You want this to really mix. And every time I start go to use it, I shake it up again, just to make sure that the water and the paint hasn't separated. And I don't find that to be too big of a problem, except for metallics. Metallics are, they clump a little bit more, and you definitely want to go with a better quality paint there. So now I'm finding the paint isn't coming out of the nozzle without any pressure. It's staying dimensional. It's not spreading out. I'm thinking that I have a good mix. Now, what I'm going to do now is let that paint sit overnight, and then I'm going to test it the next day to see how it is, because the paint will somewhat thicken a little bit, and you, just to get the final say. And whenever I start using the fine line applicator, I always squirt out some. I shake it, and I squirt out some on the side, not on my project. And here I'm just testing it out. This is the beginnings of a mini zine, and I'm just doing some scribble writing on it just to have some mark making on the background. I just want to see that the paint comes out easy enough without clumping, that it's still staying dimensional on a, an acrylic base that's non-porous as opposed to the raw paper which I was using earlier. So I'm really happy with how I have it. So there you have it, how to clean your fine line applicator bottle and how to fill it. Happy creating.